नमस्ते टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज जेवीएन प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर एस लाल प्रोफेसर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड कंप्यूटिंग इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी अंडर फैकल्टी ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड मैथोडोलॉजी टूडे ऑन नाइनटींथ सेप्टेम्बर I am going to deliver lecture on discrete mathematics structure (DMS). This is a course under the program of Computer Science and Engineering, as well as this is also existing. in the program of bachelor of computer application in the course discrete mathematics so listeners you will be happy to know that uh, the topic today i have taken for you that is the relation so let me allow to use the white board and uh, i will be explaining this concept by some using some pictorial representation or uh, using some data that is going to explain some new concept related to relation so you see here i am just give me one minute i am going to discuss the topic relation you can see so listeners it is important for you to understand fully that what is the meaning of relation and uh, why this is in btech and or why this is this course this topic is in the courses of btech and bca both as i told in the beginning you know to correlate the different binary operations or to accumulate the different functionings of different programs or different coding aspects there may be need of some partially order relation or equivalence relation or you know some other binary relation aspects so you can say that uh, uh, firstly you explain that what is the you know meaning of the term relation so if i say you india and delhi then you can say here is a relation of capital because delhi is the national capital of india if i say you jaipur and rajasthan then here is also again relation of capital because jaipur is the state capital of rajasthan if i say you faculty of education and methodology and jyoti vidyapeeth then here is also a relation that faculty of education and Met education and methodology is the affiliate is, is the you know constituent part of this uh, esteemed university also the relation of maternal uncle relation of brother relation of sister means 
this term relation is very you know popular and everyone is known to this so now the question arises that what is relation in discrete mathematics mathematics structure or discrete mathematical structure so for this uh, we shall take help of some sets and uh, i am writing here you know a set you see this is suppose this is one this is a set that is containing two elements that is a is equal to 1 2 and b is equal to we are taking b is equal to suppose we are taking b is equal to 3 and 4 so this is also a set so if you find a cross b means the cartesian product of two sets a and b then what will be the result you know you can take one and then you can pair this one with three so this will be one and three this is the first order pair then 1 and 4. So you can write this as 1, 4. Again, you take the second element of set A and correlate this 2 with the element of set B. So 2, there will be 2, 3. 2, 3. This would be 2, 3 and 2, 4. This will be 2 and 4. Again, in a small bracket, please write this. And uh, you see, enclose this under the second bracket. So you see A cross B is a set and the elements of A cross B as usual, as you know well, this is in the form of Cartesian, sorry, this is in the form of ordered pairs. Here 1, 3 is an ordered pair, 1, 4 is also ordered pair, 1, 2, 3 is also an ordered pair and 2, 4 is also ordered pair. Now I am taking a subset of A cross R. For the sake of the convenience to get the definition of the term relation means with the help of these two sets and the Cartesian product of these two sets, we may be able to define the term relation. So I am taking here R is equal to, you can take any, any two ordered pairs. So suppose I am taking here 1, 3. And uh, this is 1, 3 and uh, then 1, 4, 1, 4. So this is the dashboard of June. So uh, there is some technical issue to, you know, write clearly. Anyway, I hope you, uh, the motto is to, you know, explain and uh, your motto is to understand that what uh, I am trying to say. So you see here, uh, R is equal to here uh, 1, 3 and 1, 4. We have taken two order pairs of A cross B. Now you say it is clear that R is the subset of A cross B. Because every elements of R are present in A cross B. Means 1, 3 is present in A cross B and 1, 4 is also present in A cross B means you can say here capital R is the subset of A cross 
कैपिटल आर इज द सबसेट ऑफ कैपिटल कैपिटल आर इज द सबसेट ऑफ ए क्रॉस बी हियर दिस आर इज ए रिलेशन फ्रॉम ए टू बी एंड दिस इज सिंबलाइज एज ए आर नाउ यू कैन नोट डाउन दैट व्हाट इज द रिलेशन ऑफ व्हाट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ रिलेशन I am again repeating your question that if someone is asking or if it if it is coming if 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 it comes in your examination when you are giving you know examination of the course discrete mathematics structure that is widely used in the you know application of different structure of computer science and engineering so if if someone is asking or if it comes in your examination that define relation so. what will be the definition let a let us write let a is equal to 1 to and b is equal to 3 4 means if a and b be any two non empty sets here a is non empty and b is also non empty if either of one is empty then you cannot find the cartesian product of two sets because you can there may not be you know possibility of existence of any ordered pairs if either of the sets is you know empty null or phi so i am repeating again what is the definition of relation let a and b be any two non empty sets then every subset r of a cross b then every subset r of a cross b is said to be a relation from a to b as i told in the beginning india and delhi we are discussing here about binary relation relation means binary relation relation between two binary means by means two so you can ask that sir you have taken only two sets why you have not taken three sets four set five sets and n number of sets and uh, uh, you know uh, and uh, as a expert of the subject and you, i as a student also know that the cartesian product of n number of sets is also possible so why you have taken uh, two sets only then my submission will be here for you that relation means binary relation relation means relation between any two sets so again i am repeating for the definition of binary for the definition of relation you are supposed to take always any two sets not necessary a and b that may be c c and d r and s p and q any two sets but the sets should not be null or empty sets both should be non empty because unless and until the sets will not be non empty the ordered pairs may not exist and if the ordered pairs are not existing then the concept of cartesian product of two sets is not feasible so i hope uh, you are clear so i am repeating again that every subset r of a cross b where a and b be any two non empty set is said to be a relation from a to b it is symbolized as a r b you can see on the cursor a r b means a capital a is r related to b means r is a relation from a to b so uh, i hope uh, it is clear that uh, what is the meaning of the term relation and uh, for your kind information binary relation has uh, uh, different types uh, and uh, in the next lecture we shall discuss that how many types of a binary relation may be 
so uh, for your uh, understanding i would like to share here or give highlights of the different types of binary relation first is reflexive relation second is symmetric relation third is anti symmetric relation the next one uh, transitive relation and the last very very important types of relations relation is equivalence relation but the one thing that is you know still need to be discussed that if i ask you this is a set a right this set is containing two elements means the cardinal number of this set is 2 the cardinal number means n a is equal to 2 so if i ask you that if the concept of subset is giving you the relation so if i ask you how many subsets of a will be then the formula for that is 2 to the power n i hope you know that means the number of subsets in a set is equal to 2 to the power n means if a is equal to 1 2 then a will have 2 to the power 2 2 to the power 2 means set a will have set a will have four subsets similarly b has two elements so this will also this will also have four subsets so if i ask you how many subsets will be of a cross b then here 1 2 3 4 there are four elements in a cross b so the number of subsets in a cross b will be 2 to the power 4 means that will be what 18 means this a cross b may have 16 subsets and you know every subset leads to the leads to a relation between these two sets so this is very very important for you to also understand that how to count the number of subsets uh, that is supposed to be associated with a particular set you are taking for your discussion and uh, in the next lecture uh, we shall be discussing about uh, the different types of binary relation i have discussed with you so thank you very much namaste all jbians